All right, for this problem, the binomial theorem, hard difficulty, we are going to completely expand 3x plus 2y raised to the fifth power. This is going to have six terms, one more than the exponent 5. Now, I'm going to write some terms that actually represent 1, just so that you can see the pattern in the entire expansion. So this first term is going to be 5 choose 0, because 1 less than the first is 0. Then I'm going to have 3x raised to the fifth power. Again, 5 minus 0 gives us 5. Then I'm going to, then I'm going to have 2y raised to the 0 power. There's another one of those terms that's going to vanish. Then I'm going to add 5 choose 1 times 3x raised to one less power because again the 3x terms are descending and I can just do 5 minus 1 gives me 4 and then the 2y makes its first actual appearance being raised to the first. Again the 1 is matched there. Then for the next term I'm going to have 5 choose 2 times 3x this time 5th, 4th, 3rd and notice again that third is 5 minus 2. Then 2y, again we, we're just copying this number, squared. And I'm going to go onto a new line, this is still the same problem. Plus 5 choose 3 times 3x to the second, because 5 minus 3 is 2, and it follows the pattern 5, 4, 3, 2. Then 2y raised to the third. Okay, next term is going to be 5 choose 4, 3x to the first, 2y to the fourth, and finally 5 choose 5, 3x to the zero, and 2y to the fifth. Now, some things that are equal to 1, 5 choose 0. 5 choose 5. Anything raised to the 0 power is also 1. So this 2y to the 0 and 3x to the 0 is 1. But everything else we can simplify. So this first term is going to be 3 to the 5th, which is 243 x to the 5th. We don't get any contribution from the coefficient or from y. Then 5 choose 1 is 5. Numerically, we're getting a contribution from 3 to the 4th, which is 81. And 2 to the 1st is 2. Now, in terms of x, we're going to have an x to the 4th, y to the 1st. For this term, 5 choose 2. We're going to get a coefficient of 10. 3 cubed is going to be 27. 2 squared is going to be 4. x cubed y squared. Alright, here we're going to have 5 choose 3, which is again 10, times 3 squared, which is 9, times 2 cubed, which is 8, times x squared, y cubed. Again, same problem, new line. 5 choose 4 is the same as 5 choose 1, which is 5, times 3x, actually just the 3. 2 to the 4th is 16, x to the 1st, y to the 4th. And then our final term, again, this is 1, this is 1. So all we have is a 2 to the 5th, which is 32y to the 5th. Now, cleaning this all up with the calculator, we will get 243 x cubed plus 810 x to the fourth y plus 1080 x cubed y squared 
plus 810 x squared y cubed plus let's see 240 x y to the fourth and then 32 y to the fifth. Now before I stop I just want to point out the similarities in this step and in this step. All of our coefficients uh, or all of our exponents on the 3x are achieved by subtracting this and this. So 5 minus 0 is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4, 5 minus 2 is 3, 5 minus 3 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1, 5 minus 5 is 0. Likewise, all of the exponents on the, the 2y term are achieved from getting the from taking the bottom of the choose factor. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then it's just a matter of simplification. Uh, notice also that the exponents always add up to our total exponent of 5. Once we simplify, that might not be the case. But in this situation, in our first step, it will always add up. And I hope that explains the pattern of the binomial theorem.